here which also means that this Chevy build is gonna start you stay there very very soon Ooh, look at that honestly the maroon is kind of growing on me I know I'm a lime guy but the maroon is truly growing on me however it's not gonna be like that for long how are you supposed to take pride in a truck that is this rusty our body panels are on their way they should be here tomorrow or Thursday if all goes as planned soon after we can get underway with uh, one, removing the bed and tackling the frame and these rockers. But if you guys have been at the channel for a while, you know so much went down right here in the summer. We lifted a Chevy, we lifted a Ford. We added so much to that truck over here so it could get ready for SEMA. But as you can see now, look at this. Look what's on the ground. We got snow and just as you all hated on me last time, we got shorts and slides once again. We're in the process of getting all our tools put away because this is gonna be our shop this winter hopefully fully transform the truck if i can lift it within here and that brings me to this here are our new portable ceramic garage heaters first things first i'm freezing myself right here so what we're gonna do is close our shop up and try and keep some warmth in i was using this propane deck heater which isn't the safest lots of fumes and stuff in here and all that um hmm One second. First of all, this is about to be 2020. I'm gonna have to upgrade to like the white bulbs. It just looks so much better. This company, New Air, they offer a wide variety of products. They reached out to me and were like, hey, here's a new product. I obviously they see where I'm working in and I will be working in this winter. They reached out to me and hooked us up with a few heaters to help me heat this garage. So this can be our shop this winter. So today, till I get some 220 to 40 Rand, um, we're gonna get uh, the little portable heater a try and see how well this actually heats up and get that going. And then we're gonna unbox some of our Chevy parts and some more Chevy parts that I was literally, like I said, I just went happy on Amazon and started ordering. We actually might be installing this today because kind of rolling around illegally right now. So let's, we might be able to fix that. Not even a clue. Why wow, this is on my detailing shelf. Just gonna move that. Bring it down to earth here. That's a lot better. All right, so let's get into this real quick. I mean, like I said, it's their new product. So I'm excited to give it a try, try it out here for our shop here. I know obviously like a gas or whatever heater would probably be better for an area like this. However, I didn't know there was a product like this on the market. And you, if I didn't know, you guys probably didn't know either. So let's check, let's check it out. Wow. This is honestly nice, small, and cute. Honestly, even if you didn't use this for like a garage heater, you could definitely use this as like a office or space heater as well. This thing is gnarly. And we're gonna plug it in back here. And here we go, perfect. We have our heater here. And let's turn up, why not turn it up to max heat? Oh, that's really hot, oh my goodness. Hot what do I? Anyway, this is like hot instantly. And like relatively, quick too I, I mean like this whole area could be like warm like stupid quick i honestly cannot wait to get the like the 220 ran out here so i can get that heater going oh that's gonna be spectacular oh this is really warm well anyway we're gonna get to the rest of our parts here but shout out to new air for now and supplying us with both of these heaters but making an awesome product if you guys are interested in this little turbo space heater or that 220 volt garage heater. I mean, they're both garage heaters, but that one should heat this entire garage rather rapidly. So I cannot wait to get the 220 ran out here uh, to get that in. But if you guys are interested in these heaters, check out the top link in the description below. It's actually really, really hot. So we'll see how fast it uh, heats up this area. But in the meantime, all right. So if you guys didn't catch last upload, 
We ordered these parts from rockauto.com. A lot of people from the uh, shop I used to work at ordered from Rock Auto, so let's get into this real quick. Um, every time you order from Rock Auto, they send you a nice little car magnet, so I guess this is probably gonna become a uh, habit here. So let's start a Rock Auto magnet collection now. Let's start right here. Holy packaging. Oh my goodness. All right guys, I didn't realize this was this big. Holy crap. So these are our cab corners. Holy crap. Uh, these are massive. Boom. Look at that. Oh, look at how much is just missing underneath here. That is unreal. So this is what's gonna be interesting is we're gonna have to do the rockers and the cab corners. So I feel like we're gonna have to, I don't know if I'm gonna do the rockers first and then the cab corners or what. Obviously it's not gonna be in a direct fit just yet. Once I obviously get the existing off, the new will go on. The way this truck is, I do not think I'm gonna have to go all the way up here. I may cut this way short and uh, just do about up to here. I don't really wanna work this with body filler or anything. And the only thing that's really gone is this lower half of the cab corner. So what I'm gonna do is probably end up just cutting about right here. And the same thing here, do some measurements and get that all fit up right. Our other package, which uh, I saw it on Amazon. I was like, mm, you know what? I honestly don't know what I was thinking because I was like, after I ordered them, I was like, I probably could have just ordered light bulbs. However, why not? Let's see what I ordered. It was like 11 bucks. To be honest, seem pretty legit. LED license plate lights. Um, the one on the truck is just burnt out. I don't know why I clicked buy on these, but honestly, I think it's a cool, neat little uh, mod here because why not? But uh, they're like 11 bucks for cheap LED license plate lights. Seem pretty decent quality, and uh, obviously they just plug into your light socket here, and then uh, goes in the truck. So. Let's see. Let's take a look at what uh, we're dealing with here. One, a rusty bumper. Mmm, probably should get a screwdriver. That should work. These should come out a lot easier. Oh, just like that, actually. I didn't realize, actually, how bad this bumper kind of was. Ooh, fun. I know. They make these online. I don't know if I'm doing off-roader yet. A lot of you wanted me to do the move bumpers where you kind of get them and weld them together yourself. The other part of me just loves, loves, loves these stock bumpers on these Cat Eye Chevys. But I know they sell these online where the uh, chrome is paintable, even though the move bumpers would be an awesome contribution to this. I'm trying to think of how it would look when it's done. Turn the headlights on and then it should light up. I guess you just don't have to push it in as far. Interesting. Twist to lock. Ah. Okay. As stupid as that was of a product that I bought, that's honestly an awesome, awesome addition to this truck. Even though um, we're probably gonna be replacing this bumper. And honestly, now looking at this, I didn't know it was this bad. Um. Definitely gonna be replacing it sooner than later. However, that is a hell of a difference. Okay, something's broken there. But good thing we don't need it anymore. Little things, this honestly throws me back to the little stuff I buy from my, my F-250 back in the day. Awesome. And then, snap it in. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, a, I'm honestly like a kid again. This is throwing me back. How oh, I get excited over $11 lights. Those are in there pretty good. And honestly, they are stupid bright. I honestly looked at that one on accident when I put it in. Um, you got the like the little burnt light in your eye right now. Awesome. And we're legal again. So wait a second. Did I order that? I may have ordered an entire lighting kit for the interior too. I don't know what I was doing that day. I was just kind of ordering and going on to get this build going. But honestly, for 11 bucks. Stupid simple install and definitely recommend it. So if you guys are interested in this, you have a Cat Eye Chevy, 11 bucks. You can have this on your bumper. Link in the description below, check it out. Wow, I get excited about the stupidest things. That's awesome. Okay, so anyway, I am freezing out here. Oh, let's go back inside to our warm shop, kinda. This guy's doing some work. That's real warm. Working on finding a welder. 
So, not like a person to weld, a actual welder. Um, I'm gonna go pick one up or order it or have it shipped to do something here soon so we can start cutting, grinding, doing whatever to get those rockers, rocker panels, uh, bed sides all on the truck. Hoping to get that thing painted uh, soon. I'm gonna do some test painting, test coloring stuff soon as well. Um, obviously, I'm honestly stuck between green and purple. I really want to paint it green to match because it's my color. I love driving it, but purple would also be pretty darn sick. I do say so myself. If you can see, it's a little bit darker outside, so let's actually take a step out and see how these uh, license plate lights look in kind of the darkness. It honestly sucks getting dark so soon here. Probably my favorite mod, these, these little keys. Oh, oh guys, that is actually stupid bright. Look at that. But I have been talking with Banks Power. They offer quite a few products for this truck. We're gonna see what we can do for this rig as well. I do have Banks Power stuff coming for the Hellcat, and I do have more Banks Power stuff coming for the Ram. Um, intercooler, iDash, stuff like that. We'll be hooking the Ram up with a whole bunch of that stuff here soon as well. Banks Power offers for this 5.3 platform, they offer a quite a few power products for this truck. It's not everything we're gonna do power-wise to this good old 5.3 here, so don't, don't be looking on their website and be like, that's it. We're gonna be doing a lot to this truck. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, because I wanna show you guys that even the smallest platforms, length and price and rusty-wise, can be an amazing truck. Oh, that's another thing I ordered. Tin, fresh tin is on its way, pre-cut from some website, I don't even know. Testing it out, so that'll be here soon. I'm gonna show you guys how to repair tin. To be honest, after editing this video, I will probably order some mirrors. These mirrors kinda suck, and I do want the tow mirrors on here, and I honestly would be awesome if I can wire some running lights to it. I think that'd be sick, <sighs> why not? I'll probably just order those headlights as well, get those coming and on their way so we can get uh, these kind of foggy, ugly things out of here. I literally just looked online and I found a whole new powder coated black rear bumper for this website right here, look at this, $168. So I think there's, I, I could probably find the front for the same price too. I may actually order this. Now here's the thing, black may not even look bad if I left it black and didn't paint it. I might just do that front and rear, get those out of the way. And the truck will look, first of all, uh, if I did black bumpers and got the black head and tail, that would change the whole look of the truck already and I haven't even done anything. Tailgate rebuild kit is on its way too. That should be here soon, maybe tomorrow, and we can have it ready for Thursday's video. I'll be rebuilding the tailgate. Picking away here, guys. Small, small things. So guys, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Those are stupid bright, oh my gosh. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Take care, if you have been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Super, super cool learning experience for a lot of you guys. And we're actually be getting dirty and into this build, finally. I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.